Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatEvil.com, and lies are good. Lying power activate! <sighs> oh, come on. Don't be so... I'll yeah. let you go. Yeah, I am. Can you do that? Sure. Whatever. Yes. Uh-huh. So you promise? No more trouble, okay? Uh-huh. And you're not fibbing? Uh-uh. Okay, then. I guess I'll just have to believe you, then. Welcome to freedom. Does he control that with his feet? Let this be a lesson to you. Uh-huh. As long as it's still dark outside, you should really stay indoors. It's much too dangerous out there at night. Oh, huh? no. It's best to just stay at home. We don't... We don't have it turned on yet, do we? Yeah, entering dangerous places. God damn it. All right, um... I don't suppose I could talk you out of it. So, no more trouble ever again, okay? You promised. Ah. Uh, God damn it, police officer. We're going out there anyway. But Lily, where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. At a spelling bee, for example. Or a Rolf Harris concert. Mm. Or a dumpster. Who's Rolf Harris? Rolf Harris, born 30 March 1930, is an Australian entertainer. He is a musician, singer, songwriter, composer, painter, and television personality. He has lived in the UK for more than five decades, residing in Bray, Berkshire. Harris, who was born and grew up in Perth, Western Australia, was a champion swimmer before studying art. In 1952, he moved to the United Kingdom, where he started to draw animations for television programs. Harris soon afterwards began a musical career, initially singing and playing the piano accordion. In 1957, he wrote Tiny Kangaroo Down Sport, which later became a top 10 hit in Australia, the UK, and the United States. While performing in Canada, he introduced a long-standing popular routine around his song, Jake the Peg. Harris often uses unusual instruments in his performances. He plays the didgeridoo, is credited with the invention of the rhythmic percussion instrument, the wobble board, and is associated with stylophone, a small electronic keyboard instrument. During the 1960s, he became a popular television personality, later presenting shows including Rolf's Cartoon Club, Animal Hospital, and various programs about serious art. In 2005, he painted an official portrait of Queen Elizabeth II that was the subject of a special episode of Rolf on Art. In 2013, he was charged with nine counts of indecent assault and four of making indecent images of a child, having previously denied any wrongdoing. Uh, let's do it. Woogie, woogie, woogie. It loses its charm after the fifth time. Oh. Um, well, at least I can wander around in my mind. Lily didn't know what had gotten the Justidia demon so agitated. It all seemed very logical to her. Eh, that's true. Hey, there's some coffee. Good. And let's get out into the village. So what do we got that's different? Nothing. If we talk to the gold digger, he's... Look, even his satchel is open. This is the point where a lot of people kind of lose it. Because there's really nothing different in this world. Um... I certainly couldn't figure it out for the longest time. If you explore the other uh, areas of, uh, of the western town, there's... There's nothing different. Um... You know what? Let's lie to this woman, though. That That is different. Let's see what difference that makes. Huh? Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... Uh-huh. Now, my restrictions say I can lie all I want. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. You poor little thing. I hope you remember to get someone to put coins for the ferryman on your eyes. Uh-uh. That's just terrible. It's hard to pass through limbo without any pocket change. And, unfortunately, there's only one way to bring worldly goods into the spirit realm, or with you in a trance state. You place them on the eyes. 
So the answer to all that is you got nothing except a hint, which is fine. You know, hints are fine. Here's what you're actually supposed to do. Head to the saloon and get yourself a drink of hot coffee. Lily wasn't sure if someone as young as her should drink coffee, but there was no behavioral block, so it was probably okay. And I'm normal. Figure this out. Incredible. The coffee was so strong that it jarred Lily out of her trance. No, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Now let's see here. We got a flounder. What do we have to kind of do stuff with? We got a bartender. The poor guy didn't seem to be able to hold his liquor too well. How cute for a bartender. Got a fist print. The bartender had already punched a huge dent in the table. Now we got this flounder. I'll be honest, I actually don't remember what to do about this. Wagga, wagga, wagga! It didn't look like the bartender was going to calm down by himself. Lily would probably have to help him a little. Hmm. Find her automat. I really can't go out there because if I try, um, well, you'll see. Where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. At a spelling bee, for example, or a Rolf Harris concert. Mm. Let me see. Okay, I think I got it. It's been a while. Woogie! 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 Okay, we'll use our special powers to teleport to the police station again. Because what I need isn't in the police station, but I need to be at the police station for what I need. Hot coffee. It's a mod. Here's a weird thing. I cannot skip this. I can skip all the other animations, just not this. And, uh... That's right. When Lily was exhausted, she thought of things that no one could take away from her. Bones. <laughs> Air pump plus flounder. On the third day, God created Blowfish, and no one was there to praise him. <laughs> On the third and... There we go. I'm just going to zip to the bar. Where were we? Oh yeah, we need to talk to the bartender. It didn't look like the bar Lily. There we go. He can now make uh, the knockout poison smile. Wagga! Wagga, wagga, wagga! There you go. Sunny Cup Narcotic. Turn day into night. What if it's night? Here you go, bartender. I think he's dead. The bartender seemed to be sleeping off a skinful. Well, nothing under the restrictions about murdering someone, so... There we go. Put some coins on his Lily eyes. put the money on the bartender's eyes. Since he was sleeping, she only left him a small tip. It's a pretty big tip. Let's get out of here. 
where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. They're at all. I like the ability to skip past text. Woogie. What? The bartender seemed to be doing well, thank God. Well, if it isn't the little girl from the bar. Look what I've got here. Someone put money on the eyes of my mortal remains. It's more than enough to pay the ferryman. Go ahead, take the rest. I'm not sticking around. Maybe I'll crawl out of one or two more TV screens, but then it's off to eternity for me. Oh, what a nice man. Look what I've got. Someone put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just take it. If I look at this money, are you going to say the same thing? There were things you couldn't buy with money. Like bones. Well, you know you can buy those. Well, dice. No, you, you, you can buy those. Well, you can't buy a poker table full of poker playing dogs. Ah, Madame is making her move. I guess that means she wants to play. Wag, wag. What are you waiting for? I wag my tail. But I'm happy. Come on now. Because I'm a dog. Join us. Okay, I'm pretty sure he didn't say, what are you waiting for? Five seconds later. Oh boy. You're by far the most miserable poker player I've ever seen. You didn't even smoke your cigar. Don't forget to take it. I have fleas. Uh, well. There we go. That cigar is very important, as are all items in adventure games. I think I'm remembering this right. Let's find out. Lily interpreted the strange smoke signals to mean that the shaman was looking for a totem pole. As nice as she was, she decided to help him with it. And here we have another puzzle. This one's sort of, huh. There's up, down, and left. It's pretty much it. I mean, there are no other controls. And this one's kind of weird. Here, I'll, I'll give you an example. You go through this, and you come out over here. If you go through this again, you can come out over there. Now, the trick to all of this is that you can hop up and down. And you have to come and realize that whatever kind of cave you enter on this side, you exit a similar kind of cave on the other side. But there's no real way of knowing. Anyway, that's the totem pole which means that you need something that looks like this right here. Now what looks like that? Well, there's this one over here, which means I need to start checking the train tracks. To get the train tracks, I need either one of these that I'm at. I know that doesn't go there, but it does have one of these. Um, oh, there's some train tracks down there. Maybe I get lucky. I did not get lucky. But I haven't been in this uh, cave right here, and that's very similar to what I need. Oh, okay, well, there's some train tracks. Hmm. Back where I started. Let's go down. Through this. Don't you just love these mazes? Go up here, through this. Oh. No. Wait, what? Hmm. Well, it's not quite what I'm looking for anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And there we are. The shaman had finally arrived at the totem pole. Lily was looking forward to visiting him. Finally, she would meet the mysterious medicine man. It tastes on 100 proof. And works 100 proof. Is that a rhino in the foreground? I think it is. 
or a demon with curly hair. Oh, all right. Hey, some junk food. Just it looked like something edible, but it smelled like a dead animal. Oh, did you guys just see that hint drop? Gotta take that. This guy won't mind. Lily had pictured the shaman somewhat differently. Smaller. Hmm. Yeah. Let's talk to this uh, remote control thing. Um. Um. Mom. AFK. RE. Oh. Uh. Can you tell me about the Wendigo? Oui. Auto completion. Did you mean Wendigo? Uh huh. Wait. Got it. Wigwampedia entry. Wendigo. The Wendigo. Omnivore. Also, Wendigo. Plural, Wendigos. Demon from Anishinaabe mythology. Wendigos are considered to be especially stubborn and inflexible. FYI. They stink horrendously. Lol. Oh, okay. Can you tell me about the smoke signals? Sm Auto completion. Did you mean smoke signal? Uh-huh. Ruffle, those aren't real smoke signals. My router just ran a little hot in this prairie heat. Now you probably want to know what kind of server I'm running, right? Uh-uh. It's Apache. Ah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. How do I kill the Wendigo? Yeah. Auto completion. Did you mean weapon against Wendigos? Uh-huh. W8. Just getting it on TP Bay. Uh. Print order confirmation. Yes. No. Cancel. Uh huh. Print. Here. Apparently, there is only one effective method to combat Wendigos. Give this recipe to the quack doctor. He should have received the order. I hacked his Wi Fi. And while you're at it, I ordered something on Appalachia Zone. It's. Um. Not really for me. I clicked on a pop up by accident, but seeing as you're going there anyway, can you pick it up for me? Thanks. Sure. Whatever. Uh, looks like we got a receipt here. Anti-Wendigo weapons were apparently only available with a prescription. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to the doc. Yeah. What's up, doc? Ah, a prescription. Wonderful. Now, let's see. Uh -huh. uh, aha. Uh, oh, yes, I received this order here. And while you're at it, I have a delivery for the shaman here. Would you mind taking it to him? <sighs> I guess. There was a can in the package. Lily was excited. Oh, food comes in cans. Hair removal cream. Huh? Okay, I got deodorant and hair removal cream. Ozone next for Wendigo Whack with an extra dose of FCKW. Ooh, I wonder what what? Hair removal cream. Okay. I'll be honest, when I played this the last time, I don't remember doing quite this, so I don't know what'll happen. What's that? Is that the rotting meat I can smell? Is that a cheesy <laughs> accent I can smell? Damned. Then I should have started circling uh, long ago. I guess uh, I missed out. If anyone asks, please tell them I was circling, okay? Feel free to exaggerate. Add a loop. You know what I mean, huh? And the next time, uh, I'll circle again, huh? I promise. Uh, I'm serious. Is that Greek? Is that... It's Mediterranean, I think. Or Jewish. What kind of accent? Anyway, this is what you, you can figure it out pretty quickly. Junk food in the satchel bag. Lily secretly put the junk food into the saddle bag. It was going to be a surprise. I'll just remind him. Howdy again. You're here to bug me about my mind again. Forget it. I'm not telling you how to get there. Sorry. Hey, the shaman. Sh if you're looking for the shaman, look for his smoke signals. He uses the. Yeah, we we already did that somehow. You should go to the mine. Well, forget it. I'm not telling you the way to my gold mine. 
And I'm not going to ride over there so long as you're hanging around here. Oh, well, that's good enough for me. Let's get out of here. Oh. My gold mine is good and hidden. Hmm. I should actually ride over there again. I wonder where he could be. Can you guys find the gold mine? The vultures were circling above a particular spot on the horizon. That was probably where the gold digger's mine was located. Oh. Okay. What can we do here? There's a sky. It was so hot that the air smelled of ozone. But even back here, the fragrances of summer couldn't compete with the Wendigo stench. I can go back to the prairie. I don't want to. That's a Wendigo. Judging by the smell, that had to be the Wendigo. The Shaman was right. He really had a beastly stench. What? Wend Wendigo? What, what kind of accent is this? I realize most of these people are probably European, but like, it's shaman. It's not shaman, it's shaman. Also, what was the other one back there that was so weird to me? I don't remember. Oh well. <laughs> LOL. W8. Um? Here she is, our demon killer. Mm hmm. Huh? Did I surprise you? I know what you've done to my brethren, but you won't succeed with me. I'm always on guard, and you should be too. Do you see the mine back there? Uh-huh. I know why I stay away from it. It's about to collapse, and the suspended bridge is wobbly. And it's as dark as a buffalo's butt. Who knows what dangers lurk there. The shadow. So I'd rather stay out here, in the sun, where it's safe. Nothing and no one can budge me from here. Nor for my opinion. Dangerous locations are no place for little children. No matter what you say. The Shaman was right. Shaman! The Wendigo was really a stubborn fellow. And he stank so much that the thought of a buffalo's butt was a welcome relief. Buffaloes are fluffy. I like buffaloes. Are you crazy? Stop that! Those spray cans contain tons of CFCs! If that stuff gets into the atmosphere, we'll have an ozone hole here in no time! You don't want a hole in the ozone layer, do you? Uh-uh. You see? Oh, he's got a point. I don't want a hole in the ozone layer. It was so hot that the air smelled of ozone. But even back here, the fragrances of summer couldn't compete with the Wendigo stench. Lily decided to do something about it. Take that, nature. Oh, the sky looks strange. It could be an ozone hole approaching. That's not good. Where's my suntan lotion? Ah, uh, there it is. Um. Ew. I'd better leave it outside. Safe is safe. You know, and most people keep it in a cooler. Can can I have some of your sunscreen? Dialux Protect Sensitive with Sun Protection Factor three zero zero zero. <laughs> it's over nine zero zero zero. Hey, stop that. I, I need my suntan lotion. We could get an ozone hole any moment. We'll just be sneaky. Hey, stop that. I, I need my suntan lotion. Uh-oh, it's starting. Quick, apply the lotion. Ew. Ew. What a drag.
the sun had badly damaged the Wendigo. Apparently, nowhere was safe. That meant it was inevitable to spend time in dangerous places. And now we know. I murdered a rabbit today. Okay, this is by far my favorite rabbit. <laughs> uh, 